From the floor of the CME Group, this is Danny Riley on today's Cash Close. You know what we're going to call this video? We're going to call this Mutual Fund Monday, down but not out. The high of the day in the S&P came in at 1974.80, early morning. The low came in at 1967.30, mid-morning. And last, we're 1970 even, oh, we're... 1970-20, we're down 7.4 handles. Total volume, we've got 990,000 minis traded and 1.7 thousand big S&Ps traded in the pit. MOC, SPX, we had 750 million to buy. Tomorrow we've got the NFIB Small Business Optimism Index We've got the Red Book, we've got the Jolts number, we've got Jeffrey Lacker speaking, we've got a three-year note auction, we've got Nariala Kokoloka speaking. Now look, the S&P, I, I started talking that I thought that maybe we could get a little bit of a down week this week, only because we had had so many up days over the last two or three weeks. And the down days that we had had were fractionally lower. So as we go into this week, we've got what we've got going on tomorrow, and then we've got Wednesday, we've got the Fed minutes, and then we go into the Pitbulls Thursday, Friday low. Now, I still think throughout the week that if you see the S&P kind of going down, but not going down really hard on low volume, that, that is a sign that the S&P is going to probably recover later in the week. Now, my, my thing is to kind of look for a lower level, kind of look for the S&P to back and fill, and then go back up. I don't see any reason why it won't go in, into, the, into the July expiration. But that said, you guys, we've been talking to a lot of different hedge funds today, a lot of different prop desks. A lot of guys still taking time off. We see it in the Mr. Top Step trading room. We see it in the ice chat. And I suspect that that's going to continue on like that. That said, we'll see you tomorrow morning on the opening print.